Hello guys, it's me again, Simon Solar, uh, Solar Shed. I just wanted to show those that know about this um, regen I built six years ago. But, um, I stored it away and uh, eventually a box fell on it and broke it. So I thought I'd fix it all up again but put it into this old two metre transceiver chassis. Put uh, some knobs on it. Um, if you don't know the receiver I'm talking about, it's on my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, you'll find it. Uh, it's when I got excited over it. Quite popular that video was actually. Well, anyway, put it, I'm going to put it into this box, and it's got this front. It's going to have a front on it like that. It'll look really nice actually. And actually this regenerative receiver it behaves better in this box for some reason. I had it in there, uh, this one for a bit. Well it didn't like that box. It helps as well that I've uh, isolated the tuning capacitor from the actual slow motion drive, four to one reduction drive. Or every time you touch it, it won't affect it, and it's isolated. Uh, so that's it. It all adds up to a stable receiver, see? All these little bits, keeping the wires short. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be a very pain in this box. I mean, if I was to flick it on now, all you'd hear is an inverter noise because I've got the inverter on the, the solar shed. But yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, hang on, we got the aerial connected to it yet. Hang on. I'll probably show you again later uh, when there's some more stations on. Let's put the aerial in. There we go, just a 39 inch whip uh, telescopic antenna tied to a, a fence post that's, and the wires coming in. Uh, for an aerial. Right, where are we? Here we go. Uh, uh -oh. oh yeah, there's a lot of buzz as well from that inverter. But yeah, this is it. This is its new life now, in, a, in an old transceiver. Well, it was a brilliant idea, to be fair. I'm glad I kept it now, because these are brilliant, solid. There you go. Is that a good enough picture? Uh, this is at the actual, this circuit, what I built was Charles Kitchen's circuit, um, scout receiver. So it's quite popular. Um, Troublesome to get going though if you uh, don't adhere to the principles regarding regenerative receivers. They can they can really make you bang your head up against a brick wall. That's what it feels like sometimes, chasing your tail. But uh, they are good to be fair. Oh yeah, there's too much buzzing at the moment. Turn that off. Well, I'll do a recording of it later tonight when there's more stations on. Uh, there we go. I could do a lot in this chassis, you know. Some improvements. Just put some filter in there. Um, yeah, so sort of possibilities. Anyway, what do you think of that? <laughs> It's rather tidy, doesn't it? Overkill for a regen, probably. Yeah, it's gonna look nice. Anyway, let me know what you think, and I'll uh, <coughs> I'll show it you at the end. You know, when I've done another video about how it's all together and picking up stations, the improvements I can make to it as well to make it better.
Yeah, I just think I, I thought I'd give you an update on it because it, it was a popular video, to be fair. And I thought I'd do a, a quick update. I'm pleased with its chassis. Yeah. Anyway, take care for now.